Agora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, what do I think about the reform, the effort to reform the filibuster? There's a huge movement, and I think it's going to happen, um, to change the filibuster rules from requiring 60 votes to requiring 40 no votes. Right now, if you want a filibuster, you don't even have to show up. You know, it's it's on uh, it's the onus is on the pro side to round up the 60 votes. So when you turn into 40 votes, you got to have those 40 people there, and if one of them goes to the bathroom, boom, you call closure, and that's that. Right, so they have to have like jugs to piss it or whatever, uh, <laughs> if they want to keep that filibuster. If it's that important to keep that filibuster, and there's rules also that would sort of re reduce the amount of time between votes and reduce the amount of time once you call for cloture and to compress the schedule. It's not what I want. I want the complete elimination of the filibuster. I think it's the democratic way to do it. Um, I think it calls for accountability. And I think you say, well, what if the Republicans take over? Well, then we fight harder to make sure it doesn't happen. And if it does. It's easy for the voters to see who's to blame. Right now, voters are blaming Democrats in the Senate for, for being ineffective. When we had 55 good votes on everything, it's those four or five Democrats that sort of sided with Republicans and the Republicans that bottled it up. Now they're going to uh, the voters and saying, look, the Republicans didn't do anything in the Senate. And the voters don't know about the filibuster. It's complicated. It's nonsensical. It doesn't make sense as a rule. So people don't realize it, but there's no constitutional basis for the filibuster. There's no requirement to it. It's actually a rule that's written to the organizing resolution every Congress. So all you have to do to change it is literally, next Congress, is you draft an organizing resolution and you eliminate it. That's it. You need 50 votes plus the vice president. That's all you need to pass an organizing resolution. There's too many Democrats in the Senate that are beholden. Because you know what? The filibuster is the corporatist best tool. Because it's what has allowed them to control the health care debate financial services uh, reform debate. It's the corporates, because they know you, they don't need 51 votes. They need just a, they need 40. And basically, they know they got a big block of Republicans, so they just need to get that small number of Democrats. And again, as I said earlier, you buy them off in the small states, because it's cheap to do so. That's all you need to do. So the corporates are the most in favor. And there's too many corporates Democrats still that realize that if the filibuster was eliminated, their power their ability to manipulate legislation and their ability to shake down those corporations for more money would be eliminated. So those are the bad Democrats that eventually long term we want to get rid of right now. They're not going to allow for full scale uh, elimination of the filibuster. But if we flip it and require 40 votes, that alone I think will go part of the way towards solving the problem.